What's going on guys? Welcome to Sonic Sounds. Welcome back. I took a little bit of break. I was getting married, but now I am back and we are going to be on regular schedule for making videos. Now today I want to go over a very quick and important topic that somebody pointed out that they wanted to know how to do in Logic Pro X. I have tutorials on how to change the tempo in a project, but somebody wanted to know what if you have multiple stems and you wanted to change the key or pretty much transpose the track up and down. So what I did is I have a four track that I put together. It has loops as well as it has some instruments in there, the 808. So now that's a MIDI instrument. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the key from A minor of this song to probably go up to, uh, let's say F sharp minor. So now if you don't know your music theory and you know the key is in A minor, you pretty much need to go down to A flat then you need to go to G and then you go to need to go to G flat, which is same as F sharp minor. So let's go in Logic Pro and quickly see how to do that. All right. So once you're in Logic Pro, let's play the track first so you can see what this track sounds like. And right now I know it's an A minor because I picked some of the samples that were in A minor. This is in G minor and I bumped it up by two because I want it to be in A minor. So let's go and play and then we will bring everything down to A minor. I mean F sharp minor. Cool. Now you'll see a bunch of things. First of all, this is an A minor. Now this is a sample that was in E. I brought it in, but I'm playing it at an A right here. And then also this was G minor. So what I did is I pretty much went to inspector right here. You go to region, you click the region and I bumped it up two steps because in order to go from G right here to A minor, you need to go one step and two steps. So that's one step, two step, right? So that's what I did right here. Now let's say we are currently at A minor right here and we need to go to F sharp minor, right? So that's one step down, two step down, three step down, right? So let's do that. We are gonna go here right now and then we're gonna go negative one, negative two, negative three. So you're gonna go here and write negative three. Now for the MIDI track, you can do the same thing. You can go one, two, and three, and it will transpose everything negative three. Now, good thing is it will tell you exactly what you're doing right here. Now, because this was already in G minor, so that's already negative two, right? So let's just go to zero right here for this track because it's already in G minor, right? So you went to one, two, that's in G minor. And in, in order to go to F sharp minor, all you have to do is hit negative one. Now, this was a drum loop, which did not have anything as far as the key. So we are good to go. So let's play this. Anything, anything, anything. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you have done some EQ or any kind of compression, you may need to revisit this because as you're bringing things up and down, it is changing the way the EQ actually affects it, right? Because let's say you're taking something that's an A and you're bringing it down to F sharp minor, you're actually lowering it. So you're going to introduce some of those lower frequencies and you may need to EQ the tracks again, but that depends on your samples and your project. So always use your ears, right? So that is pretty much how you transpose a track and you can also go in the other direction as well, bring it up, bring it down. And also if you just have an instrumental and you want to quickly do this, let's say this drum uh, loop that I have and I want to bring it two semitones up, you can also go to logic right here and under pitch, you'll find something that says pitch shifter. And you can pretty much make sure the mix is always at 100% and this pretty much can bring it down to the semitones that we were talking about on the keyboard, how many steps up or down. So let's say I wanted to, this is what it sounds like right now. And let's say I wanna bring it up two semitones, you really just go two semitones. So technically this would go from A minor right here on keyboard to a B minor. And this is what it sounds like. Now it's a drum track, so you know, just change it to drums right here, but it's not gonna sound the best. But you know, that's pretty much how you transpose tracks and instrumentals in Logic Pro X. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I am working on a really, really dope video with this really amazing EQ that just came out. So just stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. If you're new here, welcome. We make a lot of videos about music, music production, tutorials, everything and gear. So stick around, hit that subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next one.